Hey guys and welcome to TrickMinute.ai. So probably the number one question that I get is how do I check my Torrentine score for free? And also which AI detector is most similar to Torrentine? So today I'm about to tell you that I have checked five most popular AI detectors and run a correlation analysis. And based on the one that has the best correlation, I've created a regression model. And now you can check your Torrency score on trickmino.ai. And this is as recent as April 2024. Before I tell you what to do, let me show you what I've done. So basically, I've uh, tested 60 different essays. I've tried to make it so that the sample contains both the low AI, medium AI and high AI essays, roughly in the same proportion. And I've tested uh, zero GPT, Winston, Crossplug, GPT-0 and originality with both 2.0 and 3.0. There was a minor mishap uh, because Torrentine obviously tells you the AI score, but many of the AI detectors tell you human score instead. So I had to compare apples to apples. So, for example, here, this row represents the original AI values, and these are the same values but transferred to human ones. And the results, <laughs> I wouldn't say disappointing, uh, but you just have to know what AI detector to trust. So first one was uh, zero GPT, this one here, and I actually wanted this AI detector to win, so to speak, because it is free. You can check up to 15,000 characters for free, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to have any correlation with the Turnitin results. As you can see, the correlation is negative one, which means that there is no correlation. You can see that, for example, when Turnitin says 100% AI, zero GPT says 43. When Torrentine says zero AI, zero GPT says 84% AI and stuff like that. So you cannot use zero GPT as a reliable proxy. Then I've tested crossplug.ai and you can use it for free as well. Uh, but unfortunately it is not reliable and it used to work great. But uh, the results are once again similar to zero GPT. The correlation is minus two, meaning once again there is no correlation. Then GPT zero, and this is uh, GPT zero has a very limited, limited to 5,000 characters free plan, which is not enough for most of the essays. However, the correlation is plus four, so once again not suitable. So I was left with two, originality 2.0, 3.0, and Winston. So first off, and the ones in the green are obviously those essays that are zero or close to zero percent AI, meaning that they're mostly human. And when I first tried originality 2.0, I thought I hit a gold mine, since whenever Turrentine said it is zero percent, uh, originality 2.0 also showed high human scores like 88, 99, 100, 100, 100. Unfortunately, there are a lot of false positives. Like here, originality thinks this is 95% human, yet Tarantin thinks this is only 40% human. 72% human, 61% human. 86% human, 0% human. 86% human, 0% human once again. 92% human, 0% human. So, for that reason, originality 2.0 only has correlation around 32%. And the same goes for originality 3.0. It is somewhat more reliable in that regard as a eternity proxy than originality 2.0, but still lots of false positives and only 42% correlation. The only one that was somewhat close is Winston. And with Winston, what's interesting is that if you take the whole data set, the correlation is 68%. However, if you only take the green ones, uh, then the correlation is much higher. And I can tell you right now that in my data set, there was never a time when Winston went above 70% human that I did not get a very low AI score with Turnitin. So the way to, to check your Turnitin, and this is the most reliable method other than just buying Turnitin, and Turnitin is not readily accessible, you have to find your workarounds and basically buy it on the black market, so to speak. So the most reliable method there is, is go to trickmino.ai, Turrentine score estimator, and I built a regression model that uh, sees what the Winston score is and then converts it into a Turrentine score. And the data set that I ended up using is skewed towards a lower AI, uh, higher human scores. 
So if you are getting something like 30% uh, human on Winston, uh, the transient score is not going to be very reliable, but however, if you are getting something like 70% human, or 80% human, or even better, 90% human with Winston, then the transient score is extremely reliable. So you can go check out this tool, it's completely free. If you don't want to uh, mess around with any tools, or you just want an easy, quick and dirty solution, just make sure that your Winston score is at least above 70, because when it's 70, then it's around 12% turnitin, and with turnitin, uh, whatever ends up being 15% AI or less is considered false positive by turnitin itself, meaning that it is uh, more than likely to be scored as human. So that's it. Go check out the turnitin score estimator, which is now updated up to April 2024. Use Winston. This is the most reliable proxy there is. I've tested most of the popular A detectors. And yeah, so other than just buying Torrentine, this is the most accurate way there is. Hope this video was helpful. Go check out Torrentine Score Estimator, and I wish you luck. Cheers.